So here we are, the week of July 4th, and we're getting ready to put the FJ sump underneath the stainless steel structural stand, and it's kind of a tight fit. We've got about an eighth of an inch of gap, and uh, I'm gonna probably have Sean help me today because he's got some more leverage being taller, but we're gonna try to get it into the little slot. It's a little sideways. I may have to shim it up a bit to make it level. So stand by and we'll check it out. We've got the LED lights mounted up underneath to illuminate the space. I filled in some of these areas with the starboard with a little bit of black silicone. And we've got the rubber pad down for the sump. It barely fits in here. I, I maximize the space 100%. This is about a little more of a hair over 19. This is about 19 and oh, 5 16 or a little more, almost 3 eighths. So we only have about an eighth inch of gap in here, which is good, we're maximizing the space. So we're gonna try to lift up a little bit without breaking it and wedge it right inside of this edge here. So let's just go slowly. It's really a tight fit. Miss Jolene is here to help us right now because we have, we're have we binding a little bit. This side is elevated a little higher than we need to. So we're gonna have you go on that end of the table. When we say three, you need to walk backwards two feet until you're eating those other pieces right there. Well, it fits. That's the good news. Perfect. We better hope that the fleece filter fits. If it doesn't, we're going back to the drawing board. Okay, so we'll take the skimmer cup off and take the whole body and put that in there. That should be very easy. And now, you'll see when we talk about maximizing the whole entire space that's how it's going to go so the sump is in place it fits really good it's a beautiful layout let's look how big that sump is sitting inside underneath this uh it's 11 foot stand we're going to put some cut some blocks today and put some blocks here we'll put some blocks here and in here and on this end as well and then we'll seal and silicone the whole sump in place and just leave it like it is, let it dry up in there. Then we'll make some covers on the top for the construction time when we're doing the construction of all the plumbing in place. And uh, it's gonna look super awesome. Oh, by the way, we are gonna use black silicone. And that black silicone I used to cover the screws up there. We're gonna use it on the rims. We're gonna seal the back edge here and all the way along the length here so water can't go back behind it. So yes, we do use black silicone once in a while. So we went ahead and cut some starboard blocks and here's some two inch strips that are custom cut and beveled on the edges so that we could go ahead and silicone those in place with the black silicone. Now we're gonna pull the blue tape off and hope that we don't make too much of a mess. So now it's uh, detailed in. I have to do a little cleaning up with the razor blade once it dries tomorrow. But now you can see down the length, it fills in the entire space. It's secure, it can't move anywhere when we go to deliver it in the truck. And it's really a nice glass sump, super nice, well-built, 3 8 glass. You're gonna have a constant water level running in here, probably about 12 to 14 inches. That's about 14 inches up. So it'll be below the floss, floss tray. So there you got 14. So we we'll probably run at about 13 and a half inches all the way across through the mesh and then into the pump area. Here we'll have the Deltec E-Flows right in here. We'll put both water pumps in. They'll have strainers on them on the front end and it's gonna be super clean installation and a tremendous amount of flow with these E-Flows. It's gonna be a really nice sump. Remember to like, subscribe, and send us your questions. See you next time.